Hole in one. Yes! Oh god, yes! Yes! Woo! Alright, so, there's something you may not know about me. That's the fact that I'm in love with the Hot Shots Golf Series. Now, I've been playing these games since the PS1 era. I just love how simplistic and fun they are. But thankfully, we now have a new installment on the PS4. And here it is in all its glory. Hot Free Buddies Golf. The hell is this thing? Uh, regardless, let's see whether this game is fun, and most importantly, is it worth the money? Well, let's find out. Everybody's golf. Now, before we get started, for those of you who are still confused, this is in fact a sequel to the Hot Shots Golf series. Everybody's Golf is how the series has been known in the PAL and Japanese regions. And finally, the series developers have decided to get rid of the Hot Shots moniker altogether and make Everybody's Golf the official title everywhere. So with that out of the way, let's continue the review. First up, the aesthetic. If you're a fan of the series, you will feel right at home here. Somewhat realistic landscapes, populated by many cartoony characters, not to mention a very upbeat, very generic soundtrack that kind of rips off some real songs, whether it be contemporary or old. But regardless, it's all accompanied by very happy-go-lucky sound effects, which gives the game its iconic Hot Shot, I mean, excuse me, Everybody's golf style. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of golfing in general, but with this fun atmosphere, it's a blast to play. Speaking of which, the gameplay is just how I remembered it. Simple to pick up and play, but hard to master. Just like real golf, the intricacies of each swing and putt all come down to basic strategy and basic knowledge of math. Wind resistance, angle, what ball to use, golf club, and not to mention the impact meter. Which is standard in pretty much every golfing game nowadays. But unlike real golf, thanks to the aforementioned aesthetic, it feels more like an arcade experience rather than a normal 18 holes at your local golf course. Overall, other than a few tweaks here and there, the golfing gameplay is exactly how it was back in the old days. But what's new in this game? And well, for starters, new to the series is the ability to create your very own character, allowing for far more freedom in who you can play as. Also, much like an RPG, you have the ability to customize and upgrade your golf clubs. With each successful swing, you increase the attributes of that club which aid you in having more control in future shots, or even achieving far more distances in power shots, adding even far more strategy than ever before. But now the biggest change here that separates it from the old games is having the freedom to roam around. That's right, this is an open world golfing game. You can either run around, jump around like you are on the moon, or even ride around in a golf cart. Not to mention, as an added bonus, you can also play a mini game where you can also fish at any of the ponds across the five courses. It's a simple fishing game, but the fact that there is over 60 fish you can catch makes this simple mini game more than just a simple distraction. Other than that, the typical local multiplayer is present, as well as online multiplayer, where you and a group of friends around the world can either play golf, play a unique team-based King of the Hill type mode called Turf War, or just simply hang out and mess around at your favorite golf course. But now, let's move on to a possible negative or at the very least something that will definitely push newcomers away. That is, the grind. And they're not kidding with the grind here. This game gets hard, and I mean seriously, really, really hard. Thankfully, the learning curve is not too steep, but once you start getting the higher levels, yeah, you're going to be cursing the names of the developers here. And also, just to add on to that, not everything I mentioned above is available at the beginning, and you, the player, are forced to go through tournament after tournament and defeat multiple versus opponents before you can even touch a golf cart or even fish. For a pick-up-and-play kind of game, this does seem like a problem. But to take a step back here, as a longtime fan, this is nothing new. Hell, even in the cheat code era, you still had to unlock everything the old-fashioned way with these games. And personally, that's the way I like it. I like playing to unlock things, rather than just pay to win. It gives the player incentive to keep playing and keep getting better. It feels more rewarding this way. It makes you work for your victories, so that when you do win, the reward is so much more gratifying. Alright, so now onto my final thoughts. To fans of golf games, this is an absolute hole-in-one. But for those who don't enjoy golfing simulators, this still may be up your alley with its fun arcade style. And this may very well be the best everybody's golf to date. It keeps the simple gameplay intact along with adding many fun extras and unlockables that will definitely keep you playing for hours. And for a Hot Shots, I mean, everybody's golf game, what more could you ask for? Well, that's the review. And now, let's get down to the most important question. Is it worth the money? And at retail, $40? Yeah. I mean, not only is this game a blast to play, but it is just jam-packed with content. Five courses, 18 holes each, a mirror mode. You could also explore them at your own leisure and then a golf cart just running around. You could also play a fishing mini game online play, single player, and local multiplayer, this 
just has so many things to do. Not to mention, if you're a fan of a challenge, this is a hard game. So yeah, just, just saying, that's also up your alley. But yeah, regardless, you know, giving the praise, you know, the game praise and all that stuff. Still weird to think the whole Hot Shots Golf moniker is kind of dead. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game series is still around, but it's kind of weird to think that I won't be calling it Hot Shots anymore. I mean, in my heart I will, but regardless, it's kind of weird. But whatever. I mean, everybody's golf is kind of cool. It is catchy. But yeah, regardless, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> and I'll see you guys later.